everybody and welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be doing a what i got for christmas video i do these videos every year and it's just a way of appreciating and saying thank you to everyone in my family my close room so uh my close circle of friends um and anyone who gets me anything or even just writes me a card and it's just my way of thanking them for being a part of my life okay so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to start off with the presents that I, technically, my presents that I brought myself. I also went to TK Maxx and I picked up a couple of things from there. I actually found some really nice BH Cosmetics palettes. So I picked up this BH Cosmetics Mrs. Bella Goldie palette. I got this for six pounds. Um, and it's a really cute little palette with a nice size mirror in it actually and three highlighters. Um, I kind of brought this because it looked really pretty, but I should have really looked closer because these two highlighters here have proper like glitters in them. They're really, really nice formula. I really do like them. However, I do use them with a definitely like more of a um, dense brush so that my placement can be a little bit more specific because of the glitter. If I use a fan brush with these, um, they do just kind of the glitter just falls all over my face throughout the day. And then on that same day, I found this BH Cosmetics 1991 palette. I believe this is in collaboration. This is what this palette looks like. I got this one for 12 dollars um, This is what it looks like. It's absolutely stunning. The formula in here, beautiful. I've been wanting another BH Cosmetics palette because I only have one from them. Um, and it is quite a big palette, so I can't actually take it to and from uni with me, um, just because of the size. And this, I would say, still is a pretty big palette because it's quite long, um, but it's easier to kind of take with me. And the matte formula from BH Cosmetics is beautiful. It blends so nicely. All of these, all of these shades at the top are actually duochrome, so in different lightings, they'll look slightly different. I just think it's really, really pretty, and I, it's the formula is incredible honestly I love it and the colours very much do speak to me. Most of this stuff is the stuff that I picked up on Boxing Day so we went into the Primark and I just picked up a couple of things these are kind of like staple things that I don't have or needed. Um, first things first being this just this really basic slight turtlenecked long sleeve jumper slash top it is a top but it's kind of like that jumper soft material i have this same one in white um but i just felt like a black one would be nice um, and it's great for going like underneath my dresses and layering pieces i brought myself this little six pack of these clips really, really cute so you get like doubles in each one you've got kind of, like, this tortoiseshell kind of print the gray and the black um yeah these were two pounds i love these staple for short hair girls if you guys have short hair these little clips are really, really cute and work really well for us. So yeah, and I haven't actually managed to find any of these um, in my closest Primark to where I live. And then I brought a two pack of these ones. So I've got this tortoiseshell one and then there was the same one as this and a black one down here. It's currently in my hair. Let me just turn around, just clipping it up in my back of my head. Um, yeah, I love these for just collecting the whole of my hair up or just half my hair like I have today. I did find something I wasn't expecting to find. I got myself a really nice hoodie. This is what it looks like. It's really basic. It's an oversized fit. Just got the Nike logo in grey with a little tick. And on the sleeves, it just has the Nike logo with a little tick as well. And it's super comfy. Um super casual and I just love jumpers like these they're super soft super comfortable to wear then I went to a shop called Fenwick's I've never actually been in the Fenwick's so this was a first time experience I really did splurge in Fenwick's I won't lie um so I'm going to talk about this first this is a little Mac bag I'm sure as you could see um and if, if you guys didn't know I've been trying to build my Mac palettes this was probably my biggest bargain of the day I won't lie oh if I didn't say that Nike jumper was reduced from 55 pounds down to 30 which I thought was really good and originally the single pound eyeshadows can are 16 pounds I believe from Mac and they were reduced down to five pounds I don't know if the offer is the same online as it is in store but if it is i would definitely recommend you pick up some if you are building your own palette or have been trying to I managed to find and dig out me an insert for the whole palette so that really made me happy so this is what my palette is currently looking like it may end up being rejigged reworked a little bit 
So the new additions to this palette, so I ended up picking up vanilla. I just feel like a plain white is always staple. Plain white slash cream colour is always staple in a palette. I always use it to set my concealer before I go in with any other eyeshadow on top. So I just feel like it's always a staple. Picking up the shade Blackberry, which looks like this. It's a beautiful cool toned, like mid-toned purple. And then a deep purple in the shade shadowy lady which looks like this it's really really pretty again a really nice cool toned purple up this really nice orange shade and so hot right now which looks like this oh kind of much my nails it's really nice and orange really really pretty neon blue and this looks so so pretty this is called electronic eel um and this is stunning so basically what i was going for with my palette layout <clears throat> is i plan to have you know, kind of maybe two rows of neutrals and then my pops of colour along the bottom. Then my big present to myself, I have been dying to try either Charlotte Tilbury or Natasha Denona eyeshadows for so long and I've heard such phenomenal things about the brands. I ended up biting the bullet and purchasing a Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette. So this is what the box looks like. <clears throat> You take it out, you've got this sleek all black um, palette compact. Um, I will say, I do kind of wish they had like the gold detailing, like these little drip things. Like I wish that was kind of like on here, just because I think it looks really cute. But this feels really like luxury. I'm so happy to have it. And this is what it looks like. It's absolutely stunning. Um, love this. This is what's on my eyes today. Um, yeah, I did find a little bit of difficulties with it because it's very pigmented, um, but I did get through it in the end. But yeah, I actually used this quad here, how Charlotte Tilbury says to use them on the back of the palette. So she basically says to use, this is your, this is your prime shade, this to enhance, and then this to smoke. The only thing is I did do that order. So this in the crease, this in the lid, and this in my outer corner, and like through the crease. And then I just added a pop of black. And then I did use these two colours on my lower lash line along with a little bit of the black as well. And I feel like this look came out really sultry and really beautiful. And the shadows blended so nicely. Like even if I accidentally put way too much of the black on, like it blended itself so nicely. And I love, love, love this look. And I got a freebie. I got this little mascara. This is the Pillow Talk mascara. Yeah, the Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes. It's got a very, very interesting wand. I obviously didn't pay for this one. It's just a freebie. Um, but it's got two flat sides and then two with actual, like, bristles on. It's very interesting. I'm so obsessed with these. And yes, they were a big splurgy present to myself. But I have been working so hard this year. And I feel like I've just really deserved it. I've gone through a lot of things this year. Um, I feel like it's been a hard year for everyone, to be honest. Just treating yourself every now and then is so nice. So I got myself that. I always have to like disclaim that I'm not trying to, sh uh, trying to show off because I feel like sometimes these videos can come across as, you know, someone trying to brag about what they've got, but I'm really not. I'm just trying to thank everyone for all the amazing things that they got me. And to say thank you in general to the world, to everyone here. I'm gonna start off with what my boyfriend, Luke, got me. Oh my God, did he spoil me? <laughs> So he got me this cute little Among Us teddy bear. He said that he saw this when he was in HMV and he just couldn't leave it because I do like the game Among Us. I play it with my flatmates at uni quite a lot. And I also watch the Sidemen play it a lot. Then he also got me some EA gift cards. Um, I'm just gonna show the logo, lo logo on them. And it was for my Sims 4 game pack expansions to buy them, which I did end up buying, up, buying four little expansion packs with those gift cards which was so thoughtful. He also got me another game, he got me Luigi's Mansion 3 for my Nintendo Switch. Um, oh my god, I use my Nintendo Switch so much at university. Um, me and my flatmates play it so often together, especially when we play Mario Bros. Um, and I've wanted Luigi's Mansion for so long. I've started the gameplay of it and I'm obsessed. I mean, I'm meant to be writing some essays and I am literally just sat there playing Luigi's Mansion instead. He also got me a record for my record player. Unfortunately, I cannot play this because I left my record player in my uni room. Um, cause I don't think there's any point in bringing it back for the month that I'm home and then taking it back to uni. Cause I already have so much stuff that I take back and forwards. Um, but he brought me the Weekend The Highlights album, which 
I am so, so, so excited about this. It has so many good songs from the weekend. I appreciate this so much. I'm so excited to put it in my record player. The first thing that I wanted to do was put it in my record player and I ran up there and then I realized I left it at my uni flat. The last thing that my boyfriend got me is something that's very, very sentimental and he made a little scrapbook for me. I'm not gonna show you too much. I'm just gonna show a couple of pages. Um, basically there's just like loads of pictures of us and it's so flipping cute and I just love this so much. I actually cried when I opened this. I'm such a big crier. Anything sentimental and I will burst out crying. Um, but yeah, this is so sentimental to me. These are pictures. This side is pictures from our holiday to St Ives. Um, and then these are some random pictures from when we've gone out. And he made little Moana's hook and the crab from Moana because when we first started going out, um, we watched Moana together. Then my boyfriend, Nana and Grandad actually got me something and they got me this Well Combo Cosmetics My Amazing Lashes Length and Volume Mascara. Um, I actually haven't tried this yet. Um, the wand does look like one that I am going to like quite a lot. It's a plastic one. I always like a plastic one. I'm very excited to try this. I do already have a couple of mascaras on the go right now, so this will be tried out in a little bit. But yeah, I am very thankful for this and this meant a lot to me. It was totally unexpected. Then my boyfriend's parents got me this little stocking stuffer. How cute is this? Um, honestly, I appreciate it again this so much. I didn't expect to get anything and it's just I'm ah, it's overwhelmed. I literally got so overwhelmed. So I got the ritual of the happy buddy Buddha. Let your skin smile. Body crap is body, body scrub. This is a sweet orange. This is this is in the scent sweet orange and cedar word. This smells so spa like. This is the ritual of a happy Buddha. Smile and the world smiles back. Happy foaming shower gel. And this is again in the sweet orange and cedar wood scent. This is sick i haven't used it in the shower but i did squirt it when i first got it because i was just so excited because it's foaming and it foams and the foam feels so thick and luxurious and moisturizing on the skin um this is a little collection of lint chocolates lint is my favorite chocolate it's expensive though so i don't really buy it that often i normally will just have dairy milk and she's got so many varieties i haven't tried some of these i haven't tried the wafer one and i also haven't tried the haze the whole hazelnut one but the other ones I have tried and I love. These ones here, particularly salted caramel is oh, my favorite one from them. Um, but this, these little skinny ones here, they're such a smooth, creamy, rich chocolate bar. It's so good. Hot Choc Spoon Luxe Sparkling Bubbles Chocolate. Um, I think this is a hot, from what I know, it's a hot chocolate little stirring stick. And this looks honestly so cool and i think it might have some type of like alcohol in it because i think it's quite common to have alcohol in your hot chocolate this canterbury brewers and distillers blackcurrant and honey gin it smells really rich and really nice i've never tried a gin like this kind of color i always have like pink gin or just clear gin so this is gonna be really interesting and i believe this is from like a smaller distiller in manchester from what my boyfriend says he got me this dr pawpaw original bomb this stuff is phenomenal i got this in a glossy box um and i got a big one of these i believe this is honestly phenomenal you can use it as brow gel you can use it as lip balm you can put it on really dry crackly bits of skin it's just really good it's a multi-use balm and it's just really really phenomenal i really do like this you benefit their real mascara and i'm so excited about this i haven't had this mascara in so long but it is a beautiful mascara, especially for every day. The Victoria's Secret Tease Body Spray. It reminds me of Viva La Juicy, which I actually don't have any of that perfume left, but this reminds me of my Viva La Juicy perfume smell. So it got me a little mini in like a perfume rollable style. Um, and I'm gonna so put this in my handbags and things to just have it to top up on my scents. And they got me this beautiful half gold hoop, um, gold, stone silver gold plated gold hoops. I love these, I'm obsessed with them. I, I keep staring at them because I love them that much. I wear gold hoops like this on a day to day basis. Like I wear them every single day. Present from my mum's partner. He got us all a Cadbury dairy milk tray. This is the only chocolate I think from Christmas that I actually opened then from my eldest sister and her kids um she got me some buck spears which i'm not gonna lie got drunk on christmas so i can't really talk about that 
Um, and then she got me something from Pandora. She got me a lovely, look at this charm, look how beautiful that is, to go on my bracelet that I wear every single day. So yeah, I'm so excited to put this on my bracelet. One of my flatmates from uni, this is from my flatmate Fifi, but she got me this, which this has been so handy. I went out on Boxing Day with this in my car, it's in my car perfectly. It's so cool. I'm so excited about this. It'll be great to take to lectures with me when I'm back at uni. Great to take on placement. Love this. A top tier present idea, can't I? It got me a couple of face masks. I love receiving stuff like this at Christmas, like I say. So she got me some, I believe these are super dry face masks. She got me this adorable little hand sanitizer gel. I love, I'm actually going to attach this to my keys. Also got me a mascara. This is the Maybelline Total Temptation deep cocoa mascara which looks like this i have actually never tried this mascara i'm so excited to try it got me this beautiful beautiful teardrop necklace again i was going to wear this today um but then i thought i might forget to mention it but it's a it's got eternal flowers in it so dried flowers and it's so adorable like look at that I'm going to cherish this and wear this so often. It's so beautiful. Presents from my mum. She got me this really adorable pyjama set. It's really soft and fluffy. And the pants, the trousers are like my favourite part. I love the print on these. It's so nice. She got me them in a size bigger than what I would normally have. So that they're really like slouchy and comfortable because I love oversized pyjamas. And I use my mini backpack all the time. <coughs> and my mum decided to pick me up another one that's slightly bigger so that when I go out on like longer trips, like day trips or like overnight trips, I can just take this one by a bigger backpack. This is beautiful. This is from River Island. I absolutely love the quality of their purses. Also got me a little bath bomb. This is the Chili Millie bath bomb. Look how cute this is. I'm so excited to use this in the bath. I don't have a bath at uni, so I'm definitely gonna be utilizing that at home before I go back to uni. She got me my perfume. This is Marc Jacobs Decadence. Me. Oh my god, these are so pretty. I can't wait to wear these. Can you see? They're like silver little um, hoops with dangling feathers on. And they've got a green, no, a blue little love heart as well. I'm obsessed with these. I can't wait to put them on. And she also got me some beautiful little studs for when I'm on placement and teaching. These will just be really nice. Um, because if you guys didn't know, we don't wear hoops um, when we're teaching, just in case a student grabs your ear. This one is from my second eldest sister and my nieces and nephews. My nieces actually helped choose these, which is so cute. So the first thing that they got me is these beautiful fantasy um rainbow bath salts. I'm so excited to use these. Again, don't have a bath that you need, but I am going to be using my bath at home so much whilst I'm home. So I'm so excited to use these. They got me this, which I have never seen. This is from I Heart Revolution. Um, this is the Tasty Christmas Hamper Collection box. This train is is beautiful. I'm actually gonna keep, I'm actually gonna keep this little case as well. I think it'll be really good for storing things. Um, but basically what's in here, I can't actually hold it up, but this is what it looks like. out and there's more stuff in here what the hell basically on top i saw on christmas um this bath cream this is a almond bath cream again like i said love bath products love receiving it for christmas as well and i also have this gingerbread adorable gingerbread bath fizzer there's this beautiful little sponge which actually feels really nice it's really soft i'm really excited to use this and i also i'm in diabolical need of a new beauty blender so it's exciting then there was also this i Heart revolution cranberry mix-up fixing spray um, which I'm so excited to use again. This is a slightly glowy one, I think. And then the final thing that I saw on Christmas was this tasty cranberry jelly um, little duo, which looks like this, which is absolutely stunning. Like, look at that, how pretty. A beautiful, like, blush and highlight duo. I've just realised, picking it up, there's things laying in the bottom that I've never seen. <laughs> That's so funny. I've just found, like, another couple of things. Like, oh my God! I'm so excited, literally. I, I didn't realise this was in here. There is a couple of lip products. Oh my God, the packaging is so cute. Look at that, gingerbread men. This is a lipstick in the shade Gingerbread. I'll give it a swatch for you guys. Wow, okay, that's a beautiful pinky nude shade. Love that. And then we have a, is this a liquid lipstick or a lip gloss? 
a lip gloss in the shade Cranberry, which look at this packaging, so, so stunning. And let's have a swatch. Oh, I'm gonna love that. Oh, this is a really, really pretty, really stunning lip gloss. Oh, it smells really nice. Look how cute the packaging is. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm literally shouting, I'm so excited. Um, there's this beautiful one with, I think that's pumpkin pie on it. Oh yeah, this is the I Heart Revolution palette in pumpkin pie. <gasps> okay. Well, look how stunning that is. That is beautiful, warm tones of beautifulness. Look at that purple. I love that purple. What colour is that? Sugared cranberries. Oh my god, look, just read the names, guys. It's so cute. And then the gingerbread one. I think this is this called gingerbread. Yeah, this is called gingerbread, this palette. Beautiful packaging. These colours are also really like up my alley. They're beautiful, like pinky tones with a pop of green. You've got irresistible, sticky dough, and gloves in these beautiful green, like minty kind of colours. And the palette itself, look at that. That is a stunning palette. I can already see like about maybe six looks I could get out of here, even more. Now that I've had like a complete squealing excitement moment over that. I'm actually gonna have to call my second aunt sister and tell her about that because that's actually so funny. Here is the presents that my younger sister got me. She got me this beautiful Jim King set. It's full like crop top, long sleeve um, top. Love this, love this beautiful Jim King matching ribbed black leggings, which I love. These were really, really nice and I, they're so comfortable. Like, they're so lovely on and this set just looks phenomenal on as well. I mean, some lint salty caramel truffles. Love these, love these, love these, love these. Top tier, top tier. And they've got like the actual like crunchy bit of the salted caramel. She got me this beautiful little fake plant, which looks like this, which again, is gonna look really nice in my uni room or my house next year. Another thing that she got with my names on, which look how cute this cup is look at it look at it look at it oh my god i'm obsessed with it it's a really really adorable little disney mug i really do love this this adorable little whale charm i don't know if you guys can see it beautiful beautiful little whale charm this is for my little me bracelet presents from my brother and my brother's girlfriend and um, they do like the christmas shopping together so cute Okay, first things first, they got me this adorable set of pyjamas. Again, really fluffy. These are Eeyore ones and these say Hello Monday on them. They're so flipping cute. I'm so excited to wear these. I'll probably wear these to bed tonight. They got me a little Pandora gift. Are two of those small charms that I just really struggled to show you. Um, they got me this adorable palm tree one and cherry one. Can you see those? There's the palm tree and there's the cherry. Absolutely adorable. I'm so excited to put these all on my bracelet and wear my bracelet a thousand times more now because it's got even more charms in it. I'm so excited. Um, <clears throat> then they also got me a water bottle with a little J on it. I'm gonna use this so much. I use water bottles all the time um, to go to work, um, to go to lectures, to go to placement at uni. Like I use it all the time. Even when I'm going like on a long drive or we're going shopping somewhere, I take a water bottle with me all the time. I just think it's a staple thing to take in my bag. Got me a little, what is this? A hot water bottle, which is like a fluffy, like sheep kind of feel with again, a J on it, my initial for my name. I'm so excited about this. I have a big, big like water bottle at uni and this small one's gonna come in also really handy because my uni room always gets cold. This time of year it's freezing so I love using my hot water bottle, I use it almost every night and this smaller one is going to work really well for when it's cold but it's not cold enough to bring out the big boy. This beautiful little gift set from the White Company which is such a beautiful little company and this is a gift set, a gift set, a gift set of their shower gels. So we have, I can't actually say this, one. it would be my luck to do that. Bergamot, amber and vanilla um, then we have white lavender which has lavender um neroli and lemon we have orange orange rind which has orange and lemon zest in it flowers which is jasmine rose and neroli um verveen which has ver verbena orange and lemon um lime and bay which has lime blossom and orange and then we have fresh grapefruit which has grapefruit jasmine and orange flower 
in it. These smell really, really nice. And like I said, I love getting little gift sets like this um, around Christmas time. Great for travel as well, like really travel friendly. I've been filming for a solid like hour and a half for two hours. Um, I was gonna film another video after this, but I don't actually have time, I'm losing daylight. Um, I think I'm gonna make some dinner because it's now like five o'clock in the evening. I wanted to say again, a disclaimer of this is not me trying to brag this is just me really appreciating everything that i've got given i'm actually going to call my second other sister and tell her about that train case because that is so funny i didn't even notice um but yes i am so thankful and so grateful to everyone even anyone who just messaged me saying merry christmas i appreciate it so so much and yeah i love you all so much and yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and like to see more videos from me and i'll catch you guys all in the next one Bye.